What is up, Fence Fam? Joe Everest, the Fence Expert. Welcome to another hot take clip, a short clip of a recent live Q&A on my main YouTube channel. For more information on my main channel, as well as exactly the content this clip was pulled from, check out the description below. John Allen says, love the channel, been watching for a while. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Question. Do fence builders avoid jobs when septic tanks are in the area? I had two companies come out to quote the job and told me I needed to locate the tank. That's probably true. Do we avoid the job? No. No, we won't avoid the job, but we will have that conversation that we do need to know where that tank is and, and if possible, where those lateral lines are. So the lateral lines are the more important ones for us. I don't want to crush them, break them, whatever. I do not want to be responsible for septic backing up into the tank and then therefore backing up into the house eventually. You see this occasionally in, in the Facebook groups where someone says that they were accused of, you know, crushing a lateral line two years prior, or there's a fence post right where that lateral line is. Uh, I believe that was the comment. When was that? Last year or something? Somebody had posted it and uh, they, they got sued for quite a bit because this fence post was right in the lateral line. They, I guess it had crushed the lateral line and they set a post into it. The septic ended up backing up and then backing up into the house, creating a lot of damage. Now, the conversation devolved into, or evolved, whatever, into, like, listen, there's also multiple lateral lines, right? So one post probably didn't cause that entire septic backup, but that fence installer got wrapped up into that lawsuit because they were responsible for crushing a lateral line. Something to keep in mind, right? So we want to know where the septic tanks are and where the ladder, where a septic tank is. There usually aren't multiple of them, but also where the lateral lines are. Where's your lateral field? Because that is something that we need to make sure we don't drive a truck across it. Because these are typically larger properties. We don't drive a truck across it. We don't take heavy equipment over it. We want to know where these are. Now, Right now in the fall, it's a little bit easier to see where it is because typically uh, the grass is going dormant. So it's getting brown, at least here in Southwest Missouri, it's getting brown. But the grass over those lateral lines stay lush and green because they are getting fertilized constantly. So typically you can see green stripes where those lateral lines are, where the lateral field is. Uh, but if it's in the middle of summer and everything's green and we don't know, I'm going to want to know right? Or we'll still do it, but there's going to need to be a liability release that says we're not responsible if we hit a lateral line. Uh, we're not responsible for damages either. You know, what is it? It says something like damages resulting to the damage. So whether it's today or 10 years from today, I can't be held responsible because we don't know, right? I will take responsibility for all marked utilities. If I know where they are, if you put paint on the ground, I will not, I will avoid those utilities, right? We will lay out the fence to where we avoid those utilities. It's the same conversation when, so we, we see this a lot with telecommunications in the backyard, right? Especially they're laying a lot of fiber here in our area. So where do they like to run that? Right down the property lines, right exactly where we want a fence to go. So we have that conversation a lot. You know, I cannot put a fence legally i am legally responsible for any damages within two foot of a marked utility they've got in here in missouri they've got two foot on either side margin of error so really they've got a four foot margin of error on four foot swath right two foot on either side of this line that utility could be anywhere in there now the way technology is advancing it's pretty close sometimes it's not so here in springfield at inside city limits in the old part of town, the gas lines don't have tracer lines. They don't have tracer wires. They measure the gas lines based on, they, they locate them based on measurements. So they'll have a map and they'll say starting 12 foot down from the front corner of the house is the, where the gas starts. And that's typically where the meter is. From that point, proceed 13.2 feet east. All right. Now proceed 72 feet north or whatever it is those are less accurate uh same thing with old water old water a lot of times doesn't have uh any sort of trace wire with it so got off on a little bit of a tangent there we take responsibility for all marked utilities we do not take responsibility for any unmarked utilities including but not limited to septic and if you have septic you typically have well as well well as well well water as well or you have a well 
also have a well. Can't be responsible for that either. Now, with wells, we can have a pretty good idea where that water's run, right? So where's your wellhead? Where's the water come into the house? Connect point A with point B. We can reasonably assume that's where that water line is going to be, right? But do we avoid jobs? No. I mean, do some guys? Maybe. I mean, I don't want to speak for the industry, but I mean, us as a company, as Ozark Fence, we don't avoid. Uh, actually, we had a fence. I went out and walked three weeks ago, four weeks ago is when Sarah was on her honeymoon. So I went and walked that project that had a septic tank. I mean, we still built the fence. We just had a conversation about where is the tank. Now, this this house had just been sold, so they had a septic inspection done at the same time. So they knew exactly where the septic tank was, and they knew which direction the lateral field was from that septic tank. So with all, armed with all that knowledge, we built the fence. It's absolutely not a problem, but we just have to know like where those things are.